You can hulk out of it too, if you want. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's pretty sharp actually. Yeah. We're here at the Natural History Museum in LA County. I've always had a, a fascination and a love for, for dinosaurs, for fossils in general. Hey, I'm doing? Nate. Good to meet you. Welcome Good to the to Natural you. History Museum. Nate, he's a paleontologist here. He's gonna show me around. He's gonna give me a little private tour and an experience that I won't get anywhere else. This is one of the favorite parts of our museum here. People love this gallery and love seeing these two on display. I can see why. Have you been out here before or seen the dinosaur hall? No, sir, it's first time. Should we go check that out? Let's do it. So right off the bat, who are we seeing here? Triceratops. Triceratops, yeah. Off the jump. So after you get it back from the expedition, you get it all here, at least piece by piece. Like, how long does it take to, to get a set like this? For every hour that I might spend in the field, kind of excavating the skeleton, like doing the fun part, it's probably another four or 500 hours to actually excavate it out of the rock, you know, with fine tools and picks and everything like that, yeah. But we'll get to see that too. All right. <laughs> so now we're in one of the most famous parts of our dinosaur hall, right, where we've got our trio of T-Rexes on display. They really put on display this concept of allometry or kind of differential growth in dinosaurs and other organisms. So just like we are not kind of scaled up proportions from our, our infant days. Yeah, they're you know, kind of you know, slight and dainty at a, at a young age and then they kind of, you know, yeah. bulk up. And they get they like grow. you. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. laughs> I remember seeing this dinosaur in the movie, uh, movie Dinosaurs from Disney. Oh, yeah, and yeah. This was the, the big bad in that movie. I remember it having this huge old, like, skull, and it looked massive and imposing, and I saw it in, in a museum. I was like, damn, the, the head is so much smaller than I thought it would be. Yeah, so this is a, a cast of one of the Spinosaurus specimens. So why do you think it developed so much different from, like, Oxalea, which was in South America? It didn't develop those, those long, you know, bird-like legs like most other carnivores did, while they think it was more of a, a quadruped. My guess is that kind of was uh, a whole set of unexploited resources. So they evolved from these other theropods, these carnivorous dinosaurs that are running around on land, but there's all this tasty fish and all kinds of other stuff living near the coast. No big guys taking advantage of it. So all these cabinets house vertebrates, including dinosaurs, from the Mesozoic, from the age of dinosaurs. Yeah, if you're really gentle, get a sense for the, the weight of that thing. That's just one uh, vertebra, right? That's just one, yeah, that's just one, one individual little backbone in Triceratops. Check out a T-Rex tooth. And this one's so well preserved, if you run your finger along the edge, you can feel those serrations, right? Ooh, right here, yeah. 66 million years ago, but still sharp, ready for dinner. So T-Rex dentist would have been a good job back in the Cretaceous. <laughs> So this is our fourth floor fossil lab. You've got to have this space be flexible. We're wheeling in big, giant specimens. There's no one size fits all, so different specimens will be different sizes. This is where we can keep our noisy compressors and dust collector system and more oversized specimens and things like that. What are you doing down there? Uh, we're working on the dorsal vertebrae of a diplodocid dinosaur from Utah that's around 150 million years old from Morrison Formation and I'm using an air scribe, which is essentially like a miniature jackhammer to get the rock off of this fossil material. Do you want to show them how to use a scribe? Sure. I said, why do you put the grooves in here like this? You know? um, it's just a pattern that I'm making as I'm going. Um, sometimes it's to increase the amount of surface area to break a chunk off. Other times it's the, the, just the mark that I can make. Not terrible. Well, what do you say, another year and a half? Can you get through the rest of this? Yeah, you can, you can come on board with us. Yeah, help us finish it up. If you take me on a dig afterwards, I won't be too opposed. <laughs> right. yeah. I think the most fun part of paleontology for me is being out on the digs, going to those extravagant places across the world and just looking for a discovery that's gonna change the world. It's a T-Rex. It's not too accurate. The tail probably be a little bit longer. The arm's a little bit too long. 